Tonight, I want us to go, if you have your, your Bible, but I just want to share something about breaking the demonic mirror of monitoring spirits. Breaking the demonic mirror of monitoring spirits. I want us to check something here. Um, our scripture for tonight. All right. I just want us to go into the book. All right. Um, let's go in the book of Luke 14. And we're going to read NIV verse 1. All right. Apostle, praise be to son. Just read for me. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, he was being carefully watched. Wait a minute. I have a problem over here. <laughs> Did you just hear that? The Bible says when Jesus went into the house to eat, he was being watched how? In other words, he was being monitored. Why were they watching him? Why were they monitoring him? And that's the story we want to talk about. Imagine you have no clue. That actually you are being watched carefully. <laughs> you did you hear that? Some of you are being watched how? You have no idea. Every moment you all all preparations are done. I'm getting married now, but you are being watched carefully. Like, okay, what's about to happen over here? We want to stop this. And people know, but they don't know. Actually, I have people who are watching me now who actually may confirm to say, Prophet, every moment I'm in a relationship, everything goes on well until it's getting serious. Come on. Tell your neighbor, if you're with a neighbor next to you, Tell that neighbor, say, are you sensing any monitoring spirit around you? Come on. What did they say? Are they, are they sensing a monitoring spirit somewhere? Can you imagine this? That you are about to have a miracle and you are planning everything, your business, you have put in money, you have invested the money into something and you are actually believing that now I'm about to make profits and I'm about to make some money. And before you know it, everything goes wrong. And when you're investing money, no, nothing was going on wrong. <laughs> Only when harvesting. Now, if they carefully watched Jesus, what do you think about you? There are spirits out there that are monitoring your life. Something is not making sense. Why? Every moment when you are about to break through, something happens. Come on, tell your neighbor, are you hearing this? I got a question here. Why? Every moment you are about to get a miracle, something happens. Every moment when everything is almost done, they're actually, the, the demonic spirits in the demonic world, they have mocked you and they actually know that he's about to become a millionaire. She's about to break through and they will make sure they stop it. This is not physical. What's happening around you is not physical. Something spiritual has to be done. Amen. And I'm telling you, tonight, if you have faith, we stand in agreement. Yes. And we command that any spiritual monitoring that is happening around you stops tonight in the name of Jesus. It stops tonight in the name of Jesus. We stop in the name of Jesus. See, there is something wrong. 
you are being monitored. There are demonic principalities and powers that monitors people. Now I want you to hear this. I gave you examples the last night. I said, can you imagine that Jesus Christ, his birth was not known by people who pray. People who monitored Jesus' birth were magicians. The wise men from the east were not men of God. They were zodiacs. People who studied the stars and who can read the palms. If you read the Bible, so many times the Bible says, and the king of Egypt called wise men to compete with Moses. These are the same people who actually discovered that Jesus was born. If you read the book of Nebuchadnezzar, the Bible says that he called wise men to come and compete with Daniel. These are the people who discovered that Jesus is born before anyone else. It was the demonic world that discovered that Jesus was born before the church discovered it. As I'm talking to you, people in the church who you worship together, they don't know your star. They don't know your abilities and your capabilities. People you sit next to in church don't know who you are. But the demonic world, they know who you are. And they will stop you if you don't stop them. So tonight we are standing here to stop every monitoring spirit. I receive. Somebody say we stop. We stop every monitoring spirit. Every monitoring spirit. Say not again. Not again. Can you imagine that Jesus, I'm talking about his birth. He's just born already in the demonic world. They knew it. And what did they do? They said they are following it. Were they following it? No. They were going to report to Herod. They said, Herod, are you here, Herod? Herod said, yeah. Say there is another king in your town. Can you imagine the whole reason they were following him? They were following the star. Was to tell Herod. So that Herod can kill all the baby bones. That were male. If angels didn't do anything about it. Jesus could have been killed. Even before he was five. I'm talking about the five days. <laughs> Herod said, come on, what, what are you saying? They said, there is a king in town. Herod said, are you sure? So he said, okay, go and see him. After you see him, come back and report to me so that I can also go and worship. But the Bible says he was lying. He called his whole garrison. He said, all soldiers on duty, move around. Every child that is a boy, kill him. Who told him? Magicians. Who monitored the birth of Jesus? Magicians. How? They saw the star. A lot of you here, you have no clue how you are being monitored. You, 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 you think life is so normal. I gave you my own examples how I've been monitored several times and I could pick that something here is wrong. I have seen projects that are moving very well. All of a sudden, there is a problem. So what's going on over here? And you see the same circle repeating. You just know here something's going on so spiritual. I have to break this chain. That's why Jesus Christ gave us the mandate. He said, watch and pray. He said, watch and pray. So you have to, you have to watch. What are you supposed to watch? You have to watch out your, your life. What is going on around me? What's happening in my project? What's happening in my spiritual life? What's happening in my prayer life? Something's not making sense. All of a sudden, you can pray. I showed in the book of Acts yesterday, remember? Yes. Chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18. The Bible says that whenever Paul was going to pray, there was a young girl with a demonic spirit that was monitoring them. 
In fact, she was following in them. And the Bible says she had a spirit. And Paul was fed up. He said, enough is enough. He said, you spirit, I command you out. Whenever you want to do something great, before you know it, something just has to happen. It's not normal. Call it whatever you call it, but it's not normal. And I gave you another example last night. I said, if you want to know, do I have a monitoring spirit around me? I told you, just look at this. What the devil does, I'm about to show you a scripture here that's going to blow your mind. You know it, but what I'm going to share from that scripture, it may blow your mind. Watch this. Do you know this? Actually, the Bible says, and I, I, just, I just like this, the Bible actually says, and I want you to hear this. You ready for this? Okay, before we go there, let me just take a little bit back. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? And I shared this yesterday as well. Have you noticed that some people, when they have money, the moment they have money, something has to happen. It's either your child has to be sick and you have to spend your money in the hospital. The moment your money is finished, your child will be well. Because all what that disease was coming, it came because you were monitored, you had the money, and demons had to cause a problem so that they can actually eat your money. The moment you get your money, your mother will be sick. Some of you, it's not to do with the diseases. Some of you, the enemy just knock your car off. Your car can't start. You're like, oh, what's going on over here? You go in your car, you start your car. Your car was just okay. It's like they knew you have money. And you take the money and you fix your car. Soon after finishing your car, another responsibility. Because in the realm of the spirit, you have been marked to remain broke. But I come in the volumes of the spirit. I stop this nonsense in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the enemy now. Not again in your life. I said not again in your life. Someone said, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, not again. Not again. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. From every monitoring spirit. From every monitoring spirit. I break. I break. Every demonic mirror. Every demonic mirror. Monitoring my finances. Monitoring my finances. Monitoring my life. Monitoring my Monitoring life. my prayer life. Monitoring my prayer life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will see how things will begin to move from now. You will wonder how things will begin to happen. No more hindrances, no more interruptions, no more demonic interventions. You'll be so shocked. If you want to get married, you're just going to get married. There will be no more sabotages. A lot of demonic sabotage. You think it's people like, oh, I was trying to do this and this person just came in and stopped. <laughs> you think he's a person? Can you imagine Jesus, the Bible says he was carefully watched. You think who was watching him? Physically, there was people. But spiritually, it wasn't people. It wasn't a person. It was so spiritual. There was an agenda in the dark world. To finish him. There was an agenda. I told you how, how Moses was monitored. That before he was born, a law was made. I told you before. When they are monitoring you, they can even use a law. You'll be so shocked that, that a document from the court is coming over your property. A document from the bank is coming because they know how fast you are going and they want to stop you. There was a law, a legal entity was created in the parliament of Egypt 
to say that from now every male child that will be born has to be killed because Moses was coming and they had intelligence in the demonic world that a star, a prophet is coming and they said kill him and they didn't know so the, 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 the principality made a ruling you need to know what we are dealing with in Egypt these are men that Moses will face when he throws his stick and becomes a snake, they'll also throw their own sticks. They'll also become snakes. If he hits the water and it becomes blood, they can also hit the water and can become blood. There was a demonic principality in Egypt that had accurate intelligence that a great man by the name Moses was coming. And a law was issued in parliament. Just targeting one man. And people were killed and people suffered because the law was not for the people. It was for one man. And praise be to God because in heaven there was also an intelligence. And angels were dispatched to tell the midwives to say only Moses must not be killed. Because according to the law, the midwives, the, the ones who were killing the babies. But when they saw Moses, the Bible said they fell in love with the baby. The baby had favor. They said, not this one. This one we are not killing. It was a ruling of heaven. May heaven make a ruling for you. May your career be spared. May your destiny be spared. I receive. May your miracle be spared. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Receive. There was a ruling in heaven to say, do not touch this one. And these nurses, the Bible says, they were women of God. The Bible calls them women of God. They said, not this one. <laughs> they said, not. So they kept this one. And they said, no, 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 we have to keep this one. And he is the reason why the whole law was made. After he was born, and the devil thought he was actually killed, the law changed. It became normal. Right, now you can go ahead. Any boy that is born, don't kill them. In fact, a law now favored to say even those kids from, from Israel, they can come and stay in the palace. And Moses was now taken into the palace. You need such a favor. Yeah. Can you imagine the Lord just changing when he was born, when he was spared? Then the Lord changed. Because in the spirit, it was registered that he is killed. Imagine this, that you are planning to do business Everything is moving well. You have partners. Everything is okay. Before you know it, no communication. And you think these things are happening are normal? Why other people, whatever they're trying to do, is just smooth? You even sit and say, I wonder why only me. All my friends are doing well. You are crazy. Are you supposed to wonder? Or are you supposed to pray against it? <laughs> Like, I wonder, I don't understand my life. Everything, everything is collapsing. Everything. Oh, you are even prophesying. You are even making rulings and sentences in the spirit that everything is collapsing. And you are actually cursing yourself. Have you noticed this? Some of you, your children are being monitored. All of them. And some of you, one of your children, or one of your children, one of them, just one. As a parent, you can actually see that this one, there is a problem. You find out of all the four, only one is into drugs. Being monitored. Why should he go far? And some of you, one child, he just can't do anything to do with his future. It's like you are the one worried and he's not worried. Or she's not worried. There are people 
Some of you, your kids are being mourned. Their marriages are being monitored. Some of you, you can actually see like everyone in your family is being monitored. No one has ever become a millionaire. Nobody. And it will never happen until we pray against it tonight. Yes. yes. Nobody. You, they rely on. The one they actually rely on as a breadwinner. You're also broke. A sign that you are being monitored as a family. Nobody, I, I promise you this. Nobody has become a multimillionaire. Nobody. I'm talking about not from your sister and your brother. I'm talking from your great great grandparents. There has never been a millionaire in your family. Nobody. And you think this is normal? Like, like all your like your whole lineage. Like, are you serious? Tonight we repel the attacks in the name of Jesus. How come you are highly educated? Highly educated. Highly. But you are living an average life. Because in the realms of the spirit, there is a demarcation that you should never jump this line. Whenever you try to jump it, they'll bring responsibilities. Before you know it, there's this issue, there's this issue. There's this issue. If laws have to be used, they'll use laws. If banks have to be used, banks will be used. You'll be getting letters and emails from everywhere else. Because the issue is, why are you moving so fast? You must be stopped. Raise your hand with holy anger. Say not again. Not again. Rospra ja antaka eya fia dushpra adaka. I receive. Karaki skopra antegeyesh. I receive. In Job 1, verse 7, when the sons of God were in the meeting, the Bible says God had a meeting in heaven, and all the sons of God came into the meeting. And the Bible says Satan also came in the meeting. Let me read it for you. Job chapter number 1 verse number 7 And the Lord said unto Satan Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it Did you hear that? Can you imagine that the devil went to monitor a meeting in heaven? Wait a minute This is serious Wait, let, let's go to verse 6. Give me NIV. Let's go to verse 6. Maybe you should hear this. Verse number 6 in the NIV. One day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. Did you just hear that? Can you imagine there's a meeting in heaven? God wants to address angels, and the devil is there. And God says, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here? Can you, just, can you imagine that? That there's an, a meeting. I'm talking about heaven. I'm not talking about your bedroom. <laughs> what more your bedroom? And then, then he says, then he says, I went, I was moving up and down on the earth. And when I was moving up and down, I discovered one man. What? He says there is one man on earth and the devil was so accurate even mentioning a name and a location. He says his name is Job. That, that's so, that you must be very scared because the devil knows even your names. Can you imagine the devil telling God, he says I saw one man by the name Job. And then the devil began to describe Job's character. He says this man is so faithful and honest to you. But I know the reason why. It is because the man is so rich. You gave him so much money. But if you take that money away from him, he will curse you. 
monitoring. How, how, what's wrong with my money? What's the problem with the man of Job? Why is the devil obsessed? Now, if the devil had issues with the money of Job, you think he has no issues with your money? Now, come on, answer me. If the devil had to go to heaven and broke the protocols and appear before angels because he's upset with the Job's prosperity, And God is shocked that he's in heaven and the devil just appears, boom, like, ah, I thought we cast you down. Yeah, no, 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 there is a man on earth. He has so much money. <laughs> Imagine that the man who was cast down long time ago, the Bible says God cast him down. But he appeared in the heaven. He says, what's wrong with you? He says, there is a man. He has so much prosperity. And I need to do something about it. So, so God said, so what do you want to do? He says, I want to remove everything that he has. God said, go ahead. The job's money was being monitored. If the devil did this to Job, who do you think you are? He says, this man is very honest. He fears you. But one thing. You gave him money. He says he has got a hedge of protection. He says the man is so well to do. I have a problem with this. <laughs> and, uh, God has said, oh wow. <laughs> God was shocked. I promise you. First God was shocked to see the devil in heaven. Like, ah. <laughs> How did you come here? He says, ah. Now, he answered as if he, he, he went there by accident. He said, oh, I was actually moving up and down. And I found myself here. So <laughs> okay. So how can we help you? He says, no, there is a guy by the name Job. Like, ah. What's wrong with the Job? He said, I have a problem with him. He said, he has got so much money. You think you are not being monitored? Can you imagine that the devil monitored and picked Job? He said, no, 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 the man must be stopped. Do you know until today, nobody has been wealthy in the whole Middle East more than Job? Nobody until today. No one until today, what they call the kings of Dubai, nobody has become rich and wealthy more than Job. The whole Middle East. And the devil had an issue with it. He says, why? He prays, he worships you, and he's rich. Why? Uh, are, are you here? Yes. Or you're home? And God said, okay, go ahead. What happened? He lost all his worth. Why? The devil was monitoring him. He lost his family. His wife divorced him. Why? The devil was monitoring his peace. He lost all his children. In fact, the children were actually in a building. And for you to know they were being monitored, he allowed them to go to the building. Immediately they entered the building. The, the, the building collapsed. <laughs> and they all died. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm trying to say to you. You must be very careful. You must be very careful. Don't just think things are happening around you. Like you're so at peace. Like, oh, you know, um, things just happening around me. They are not just happening. You are a threat. The devil knows who you are. The devil knows what you can do. You are a threat. But you are stopping him tonight. 
it will never happen again. I receive. Come on. I say it will never happen again. I receive. Somebody says speak protection. I speak protection over my family. Over my family. Over my life. Over my life. Over my prayer. Over my prayer. Over everything around me. Over everything around me. And I decree and declare. And I decree and declare. Every demonic mirror. Every demonic mirror. Monitoring my life. Monitoring my life. Is breaking this moment. Is breaking this moment. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 